Today we're visiting historic Fayette. This is the visitor center with a town just beyond it. Well, you're looking into the mouth of the Big Bay Danak, which is in the Michigan's central to central western uh, upper peninsula. And this is the town of Fayette, a ghost town if you want to call it. Uh, it was an industrial town. And uh, there are some of the buildings there. The town of Fayette was incorporated between the 1860s and about 1880s. And what it was for is uh, they took iron ore from some of the mines in the area and converted it to pig iron and shipped it all across the country. So this was actually a not really a mining town but a ore processing town. This was basically the main ore smelting building where they converted the iron ore into pig iron. Pig iron, I think what that means is they're just iron ingots, I guess you could call them. And these are some of the mechanical buildings that was used uh, during the process. And actually the town where the residents lived was on the other side of that hill. So this was all the industrial part. And we have a natural harbor here which uh, facilitated uh, the ships coming in and out, bringing the iron ore in and the pig iron out. Today this is part of the state park and you can actually stay overnight uh, at this dock uh, if you have a boat, of course. Uh, it's a state marina. And one of the reasons this area was chosen for this task is not only the natural deep harbor, but also uh, natural materials, uh, raw materials. And this cliff, I believe, is a lot of limestone, which uh, apparently they use as part of their smelting process. And as we swing over, we can see again the uh, main smelter. So basically, they took uh, iron ore and uh, crushed it with limestone and charcoal and heated it and came out uh, iron ingots. Well, you can see one of the smelters themselves, and they actually dumped the contents in, I believe, from up above. And uh, I imagine in his day it was quite a sight to see. Now here's one of the iron ingots that they call pig iron. And uh, it weighs uh, 109 pounds, each one. And guys used to just lift those things over their shoulders. Well, this is a company office where people got paid. Kind of reminds you of uh, some movies, don't it? We're actually located on the uh, western shoreline uh, of the peninsula that goes, that's known as uh, Big Bay Danak. So what, we have, what we're looking at here actually is Big Bay Danak in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And this is the entertainment complex with the music hall here in Fayette, Fayette, Michigan. And much of what the town used to be is just uh, foundations. Although we have a building here that they're actually restoring. Well, the laborers here made about $2 a day, and that was actually considered middle class. So this is actually a middle class town of Fayette. And uh, from this house here, there's a nice view of where you would be working uh, across the harbor. And this would be the doctor's office. And these are some of the uh, residences with a actually quite nice view of Lake Michigan, especially if you consider a lot of these bushes and things probably were chopped down at the time. Well, as we walk around the town here, we can see a lot of uh, timber, a lot of trees that are covering a lot of the town, but, you know, they basically moved from here because they ran out of natural resources, uh, specifically firewood. So this all has grown up in the last 150 years. Well, the term pig is just another word for bar. So bar, bar iron or iron ingot. And one famous person was a laborer named Pig Iron Fred Hink. 
And what you see here, this is actually an incline for the steam engine that had a bridge that went all the way around to the main smelter there so it could dump stuff from the top.